Hey, my name is Simon O'Carrigan. I'm an artist and an illustrator uh, from Melbourne, Australia. And today I'm going to show you a few things in my studio and talk about my work illustrating an upcoming book called The Build Up, which is by Shulin Moore, and it will be published by Windy Hollow Books. Uh, the Build Up is about a little kid and his two parents who live on a remote farm in Australia, and it's the first time he ever sees rain after a long drought and a stormy build up. The landscape for the build-up also reminded me a lot of my grandparents' farm that I visited a lot as a kid in uh, back in New South Wales. Uh, I knew as soon as I read the story at first that I wanted to use sort of dry scrubby colour pencil and watercolour wash and that once the rain does turn up, using watercolour would make it really easy to draw all those wonderful water effects and splashes. Although a lot of my work is done on paper, all of the roughs and preparative sketches I often do on the iPad or on the computer. Um, to work digitally I like to have some constraints because otherwise, you know, in my watercolour kit I've got a set of you know, 24 colours and same with pencils, um, whereas on the computer you've got millions of colours and that's overwhelming. So what I've done is I set specific colours that match my real world tools and specific tools in the programs too that match the pencils and brushes that I use and so that way I've got the same sort of set of options whether I'm working on paper or on a screen. For this book I decided to use that all the way through and you know with the picture book I find that every page has to relate to every other so I tend to lay out the storyboard for the whole book all at once and I can look at all of the spreads together and make sure there's consistency for the character or that there's you know a nice variety of different images and things like that and the great thing about doing the whole process all the way through on my iPad is so I can work really fast and uh, change the scale of parts of the drawing, work out what's going to go where on the page, adjust them and make sure that they're, you know, there's like a rhythm to the book. I can quickly look through all the artwork and make sure the whole book is working together. So I work on a, a lot of different type of projects these days. I might make quite realistic drawings of, say, my favourite parkland by the river for exhibitions or of, um, you know, my favourite buildings in the area where I live and work. I love to draw, particularly because I love to look at how light works and how colour shows up and how shadows work. So if I'm doing something very realistic for an exhibition or if I'm doing something very stylized like a picture book, the same applies. I want to look at how light works and how I can capture that. If I'm not in the studio or I'm not drawing, my favourite things to do are basically being outside, which is why I relate so much to the kid in the story. I spend a lot of time riding my bike or I'll go down to the river and go kayaking and I love swimming. I love being outdoors but I also love bringing the outdoors in so my studio my studio is very big and light filled and it's full of plants that if I need a break from drawing I can spend some time looking after the plants. So I also I love spending time drawing in my studio because it's time I can sit listening to music and I like music with a lot of energy. It was very important for me to have a lot of energy and movement in, in the characters especially the boy and the cactus. The boy is kind of based on me when I was a little kid going out to the farm with my baseball cap and my striped shirt, except I always wore my favourite little sneakers. Um, but once I was doing some sketches of this character and put him in some farm boots, I knew he felt like a real person. And then I tried to work out ways of giving the cactus some movement, because obviously cacti move pretty slow normally. So the solution was to give the cactus its own little red trailer that you know could run around and bump around with the help of the boy. All of my favourite stories uh, really explore how something changes for the characters and that's what I loved about this story as soon as I read it. It's such a significant change happens the first time this kid sees rain. And for the parents it's significant too because it looks like they've been in drought for a long time in their farm and I really had fun drawing the, the farm so dry in the beginning and then gradually changing as we go through the book. Um, specifically, if you have a look, get to have a look at the front and back end papers and I've got this wonderful transition as the rains come in.